Oh yes, the Sonic Channel uh, September wallpaper has been released. And as you see, it's our uh, background for our program. We're going to use that all throughout oh. September. It's so cute. Just... It is a very cute wallpaper. Indeed. Yes. I just, I just love what uh, Sonic Channel's been doing with each month with just pairing Sonic with a different, uh, different character and actually writing a uh, uh, piece of uh, literature on the Japanese website to go with it. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I was amused when they did July, which was uh, Sonic X Shadow. And, oh you know, I had to giggle <laughs> to myself a little bit. <laughs> I feel like Sonic Channel should have yes. their own... I feel like Sonic Channel should have their own pu pictures and, like, calendars. <laughs> like, Sonic Channel should have their own calendar for, like, released each year. They, and then... Yeah. That, yeah. That's Absolutely. Like, anyway. I'd make a great piece of merchandise. Yeah, oh, yeah. it would. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> But I think they're just releasing this month by month, so it's just like, you know, you don't get the whole thing all at once. Aw. Yeah. Unless you pre-order her. Besides, it, it, they spoil things, because as you can see, the September wallpaper came out just to coincide with the uh, Sonic Colors Sonic Ultimate. Ultimate release. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which, by the way, if you ever bought the digital deluxe version, what are your thoughts on Sonic Colors Ultimate? Is it better <laughs> than the original? <laughs> Uh, can I get my hands on my copy if I really can't? <laughs> I purchased the I pre-ordered the digital deluxe version and I I was originally gonna get the um the physical version of it for the Xbox One and get it digitally for the Switch, but it turns out that I want to get the digital deluxe version. So I so what I did was I canceled my physical co my physical order of Song Colors Ultimate for the Xbox One and went ahead and ordered the digital deluxe version. Mm-hmm. You know, it's so funny I you start. <laughs> it's funny you start mentioning that, and that gives us a perfect segue to go into our next article, which is, yeah, Sonic Colors Ultimate Digital has been released today. So it's like for people who order Digital Deluxe, uh, hooray for you! You get to play it. For the rest of us, uh, we gotta wait till we have to wait till next week. Yeah, until next, <laughs> next Tuesday. I already got a call from We're GameStop. Yeah, I got. I already got a call One from week. GameStop. One week. I I, I, I already pre-ordered the. the the game, can't remember if it's the Switch or the PS4, but I did pre-order uh, the one from um, the Japanese website that includes everything, the book, the coin, and even a keychain from yeah. their own website. Good stuff. Oh yeah, yeah the baby's got a keychain. And it's, now it's shipping it internationally for those I feel that like want why that could... If the Japanese yeah. have better pre-order bonuses, why can't we have the same thing for us Americans? Right? Yeah. Oh, we're wondering. oh man. But That's yeah, I already got a call from GameStop. They said that I it, they already got the shipment in, apparently, and they said you can, you can come pick it up on the seventh. Okay. I, I think I might pre-order the physical copy for the Switch. Yeah, because I. <laughs> yeah, I actually got uh, two different versions. I ordered two different physical versions. I ordered the Switch so I can take it with me while I'm working, because there I I'm a delivery driver, and there are times I'm just sitting there in a parking lot waiting for deliveries, and I'm bored. So, just pull out. I actually did that a couple weeks ago with uh, Sonic and Tokyo Olympics. So. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, back nice. when the actual Olympics mm. were going on, I decided, yeah. you know what? I don't watch sports. I don't watch the Olympics, but I will play the Sonic Tokyo Olympics. So. Oh, that's the one with the. With, that's the one with the Sonic mascot as a playable character, right? Oh no, I was actually playing the one with Mario. So. The, the oh, actual Mario, Mario Sonic, Sonic. Sonic. Okay. yeah, the actual one, yeah. I really want to play the Tokyo Olympics game, the one where you play as the Sonic mascot. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I I I saw that I saw that footage. I'm like, what what what? <laughs> It's a good friend of mine live streamed it. It is one of the funniest things you will ever see in your life. It is absolutely hysterical. <laughs> and I have, and just so you know, I have one at home. They were playing the soccer event, and you could actually like put every single teammate in one of those, and just a whole team of Sonics coming at you. <laughs> if I'm on the other side, 
I'm kissing my hands and bye. It's Team Sonic. It literally, everyone is Sonic in this game. It was one of the greatest things ever. Oh my, oh my god. god. But it's like while you're like uh while your game store is holding your uh your copy hostage for until the seventh, uh a lot of reviewers have been able to get their hands on it and review the game. And I've heard the reviews actually been pretty good so far. Pretty favorable, yeah. Pretty yeah, favorable. only I mean, Sonic Colors. Uh <laughs> I mean I can't remember, wasn't it very favored, like even back when it was first released, like back in two thousand ten? Yeah, I, I, I was, I it, it was so. favorable at the time. I think a lot of the average scores were a little bit lower though at the time because a smidge. It that was, was the stigma. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I remember I remember playing the original game on the Wii. Um, although I feel like it hasn't aged very well, but I think once you play it, once you play, once you play the remastered version, you'll think, oh, it looks much better than the original version. Yeah. Although I w yeah. It's actually funny you say that because, um, on Twitter there's been, like, a lot of data miners and everything, and it seems like that they used, uh, the open-sourced, uh, game engine, uh, Godot, Godot, uh, to help with the project, and they're able to find a bunch of, like, the source files from the original Wii game. Oh, wow. They oh, literally structured their whole yeah. framework around the original. That is amazing. That's very incredible. Very mm -hmm. nice work. Wow. But I think with that, too, there's been, uh, there's been some glitches and bugs from reviewers so f uh, as of recent. Uh, be, nothing like, game not like a bunch of game-breaking stuff, but like, you know, some visual glitches. Um, like a couple things. A little bit of game-breaking, but it's not too bad, but a lot of people are hoping that it can be fixed on like a day one patch or something. Yeah, yeah. well, Katie's already Katie's already it. said there's gonna be a day one patch. Okay, ah, well, that's good. good. That's a good sign then. That's good. <laughs> Though they did they did keep in uh the the speed running glitches and uh I think there's even like some tails lines that reference that in the game. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I heard somewhere that the red star rings have actually moved from what they where they originally were in the original game. Oh, did they? Yeah, that's what I was hearing. I I, I, I think I saw an article on uh, Sonic Stadium about it, but I'm not too certain. I, I just saw a headline. I didn't actually read it, so. I, you I, heard I was... completionist, and you've got a new chore ahead of you, completionist. Yeah, yeah completionist. <laughs> find the, uh, yeah, if you're luck. watching this right now, find all of the red rings in Sonic Colors Ultimate. Then give us a call. Yeah. <laughs> Best of luck to you. Best of luck to you. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, there's there's a lot of Sonic Colors stuff going on. In fact, right now, they've actually released the entirety of uh, Sonic Colors Rise of the Wisp uh, animation. Yes. Oh, my gosh. that That's, yeah. like, one of the cutest. It's so, it's good. so good. It's so amazing. It really was. It really was. It was just, they like. They did a good job with that. Yes. Uh, they, they released it in two parts, I believe. First, yes, it, yes, they, they were in two uh, parts. Uh, yeah, yeah. In, in two parts, yeah. The an the animation is amazing. You know, Tyson always does a great job with the animation. It's just like right? absolutely. absolutely. Just so you know, he not only did he save the um not only did he save the Sonic movie, he also makes good animations as well. So yeah. Tyson has is a god when it comes to Sonic animation. I was gonna say, yes. given his uh, track record, it's to be expected. <laughs> And then you have to like also thank like everyone else that contributed not only in the Sonic movie but also just to uh, this entire animation as well. It takes an entire team, oh, and yeah. the team did a good, really good job. Absolutely, mm -hmm. give this guy a freaking Oscar. <laughs> it, it's been such an honor to be able to know Tyson in person. Like before he he, he rose in the ranks, it's just like he was uh, he came to uh, Revolution. I think it's in sixteen. What do you say? I think he first started in sixteen. Let's see, two thousand. I know he was here in 18. Yeah, 2016. I know he came in 2018 too, in person. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's really uh, funny because, like, I, I think I, I went to uh, Sega Fan Jam, like the the most, like the last one. And yeah, I, the one. I was like, oh, the Tyson's around. here. I'm like, I was a new fan, so I'm like, who's who's Tyson? Why is everyone freaking out? <laughs> <laughs> that happens. I re that happens oh gosh, so I remember Fan Jam. I do. Oh man, it, it's like when Tyson first came, you know, it was just like, you know, he, he was like, what, like everybody else, you know, he had his table and, you know, people were going up to him like nothing. But it was, wasn't until like a year or two later when he was, he only had a limited time 
to spin because he was working on the uh, the first uh, Sonic animation series at the time, the uh, the Sonic Mania Adventures. Right, uh, that, that was it. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, uh, he only had a couple hours to spend, uh, so he he dropped by, and oh my god, the the line that just suddenly formed up at his table and just like all throughout the the convention area, just a big long line. It was just. You know, anytime I see a long line at anything, I just quote from Christmas Story. It's like, the line ends here. It begins <laughs> way over there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that in 2018, when, his, when he was at uh, Sonic Revolution, that, that, hit, that line was long. Oh, yes. Oh I have no doubt of that. Yeah, I th- mm-hmm. yeah, probably because at that point, I think Sonic Mania, I think, hit during around that time. But I feel like if you if you were to see Time and Test now, the line would be even longer because he worked on the Sonic movie, and all and all the Sonic animations he's done since then, pretty much. Yeah, oh, we, yeah. we would have really <laughs> we would have had him at the convention for like an hour or two, uh, back in 2020, uh, if the pandemic had not uh, screwed everything up. Mm. Yep. Yeah, but we did have him uh, this year for the online one, and that, yeah, we did. That, that was a real mm-hmm. treat for sure. I was I was yes. so happy we were able yeah. to get him. I was I was mm-hmm. so happy we were to get mm-hmm. him on for Rabbit Discord. Episode. Everyone, <laughs> <laughs> tell me, <laughs> it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the highlight of the vlog rev this year. I, Mike I, Pollock <laughs> and during his meet and greet, Mike Discord Pollock, everyone. like we had like technical difficulties going on. And then Mike Pollock would on and off say, Discord, everyone. <laughs> that was the biggest highlight, the meme of Sonic Revolution. It's, it's, it's because it's And I action. was there. I, um, I was there too. So. Yeah, I, uh, I yeah, and I, I missed it. Because I, I forgot what I was doing at the time, but I missed it. I was, do, I was doing another bar of the stream. So I wasn't mm, able yeah. to be in there at the time. But oh, yeah. uh, I think Sega Muse said something. She's going to make buttons for next year with... Oh, nice. The... Oh, okay, that's what I got to see. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see that. That's going to be awesome. Wait, I, would, I want to see that as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, Rise of the Wisps. Very, uh, I mean, did, did y'all know? Did y'all know Katie actually voiced the, uh, the Jade Wisp? Really? No, I didn't. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Oh, that actually, that's really cool, actually. Yeah. yeah. So I, I thought that was really awesome. That was Katie that was voicing Jade Wisp. She, she said she had a lot of nice. fun doing that. Very nice. Now that's just in the animation. It's not. She's not in the video game. So don't try looking. For, mm. try listening for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Although they did, did actually like uh, for anyone like unaware, they did like bring her back for the role though. You know for. I'm assuming consistency sakes. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. No, she's she's just uh, in Rise of the Wisps, so. Um, I'm actually yeah. glad that, I was hoping that nowadays her, her, Tails is um Wisp translator actually works and doesn't have any bugs. Because the, the one, one of the, one of the only memories I have in Sonic Colors is, believe it or not, Baldy McNose hair. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of people remember that. <laughs> Everybody and, remember that one. And let's not forget the one, the one line we all know, know and love. No copyright law in the universe is, is yeah. going to stop me. <laughs> I, I, um, I think even Sega uses that line from time to time. I, I think the official Twitter uses that line from time to time. Oh, like, they do. They do. <laughs> no copyright law in the universe is going to stop me. I'm going to block on YouTube. I'm like, oh. Sega, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> like, I'm Sega. I can do what I want when I want. I am Sega! <laughs> I do what I want when I want. <laughs> wow. Of course, if I stop mashing buttons here so we can move on to the next news story, uh, they also right. released a prelude comic uh, for oh. uh, Sonic Colors uh, showing pretty much uh, Robotnik coming into. Uh, you know, go kidnap the wisp and all that showing up on the planet. Uh, it's very cute, and you can see it on the official Twitter uh, page. Um, I do know uh, Katie said that there is going to be a second part posted uh, at some point. I forget when, but part one, the first three pages, part one is there, so 
Yeah, a lot of a lot of Sonic, Sonic Colors promo. Lot of oh, yeah. Sonic Colors promo. That's true. That was amazing. Uh, 